Now, let me start with the basic knowledge about the calculus. Let's start with differentiation. Now, the basic is that we are given y to be x is power n, then the formula says we are going to multiply the power with the coefficient, and that's n times 1, that's n, then the x is power, the n minus 1, that's how we have this. Now, let's go to number. If you have y to be equal to x is power 5, then the y dx will now be 5 here, multiply by coefficient here. You know the coefficient here is 5, that will now be 5. Then x is power 5 minus 1, which is what? 4. That's a basic rule for differentiation. Now let's move on. We now have different cases. Now this is the case 1. Now the case 1, like this one as well. That will now be 7 times 5 here, yeah, that's 35. Then x is power 7 minus 1, which is 6. So if you truly understood that, then let us come to this. We have this to be y is equal to 4x is power 3 plus 2v raised to power 6. Now check this very well. If you want to differentiate this, they can ask you to find the y dx or ask you to find the y dv. If it is the y dx, it's different from the y dv. If it's the y dx, now you are going to differentiate this y with respect to x. So that's the y dx. So because the sign between them is addition, even if it can be subtraction, if it's like that, then there's nothing concerning you with what? With the v, because it is the y dx. So let us target the y dx now. It will now be 3 times 4, that's 12. Then x is power 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. But now, if they now ask you to find the y dv now, so that means nothing concerns us with the words, with the x. So we now come to what? For the v. So that's the y dv. So this will now be 6 times 2, that is equal to 12. Then v raised to power 6 minus 1, which is equal to what? 5. Now, that is when both of them have what? The sign between. Now, come to this. The third case is when you have y to be equal to 7x to power 3, v raised to power 5. If you check between them, you have the sign between them to be multiplication. So, if you want to find the y dx, it will now be 3 times 7 here, which is equal to 21. Then x to power 3 minus 1, which is 2. But unlike the other one here, that will neglect the v. So, but here you not neglect v. You are going to include all the v there. So that is the difference between this one and this one. So you can see that we include it here, but we do not include it here. We neglect it because it contains the sign between them is addition or subtraction. But here the sign between them is multiplication, so we do not neglect it. We are going to include it. Now come for this, the y dv. The y dv, the same thing will now be 5 times 7 here, that's 35. You will not exclude the x. You are going to include x with it. So that's why we have x is part 3, then v raised to power 5 minus 1 from that v. You know, our target is v. That's 5 minus 1, which is equal to what? 4. So check check this very well. If you truly understood this, this will definitely help you in some questions under differentiation. That is, when you are given any question, most actually this case 2 and this case 3. But the basic one that will help you to know this case 2 and this case 3 is this first case, in which when it is when they have sign between, you are going to target the one you are going to you ask to differentiate. You neglect the other. But here, yeah, because it is multiplication sign in between, you don't neglect the others, you include it. But you are going to target your what? Your differentiation. Now, in the comment section, let me have the differentiation of y is equal to 6x raised to power 4, the minus 8uv raised to power, let me say 7. Now, find this. What is the y, the x here? Then what is the y, the u here? And what is the y, the v here? Let me have at the comment section. God bless you.